This older standard definition video footage from our archives has recently been remastered and upscaled to significantly improve its visual fidelity and to make it much more watchable on a large screen monitor or TV. Take a look at this short clip and then head over to our streaming channel at www.historicalmachines.tv to check out the full thing. Having designed numerous fighter and bomber aircraft during World War I, by the 1920s, Geoffrey de Havilland had turned his attention to the burgeoning civil aviation market. In New Zealand during the 1930s, many of the early domestic airliners were de Havilland aircraft. This year, the Croydon Aircraft Company from Mandeville and Southland brought three of their biplane passenger aircraft to the show. The first of over 150 Fox Moths built flew in 1932. During the 1930s, this aircraft, ZK ADI, was operated by Bert Mercer's Air Travel New Zealand Limited on the west coast of New Zealand. Between 1943 and 1948, the aircraft was impressed into service with the RNZAF. The enclosed cabin of the Fox Moth can accommodate four passengers in relative comfort, while the pilot sits in a separate cockpit above and behind the main cabin. DH-89 Dragon Repeat was first developed in 1934 and seating six to eight passengers quickly found favour with the blossoming domestic airline industry in New Zealand. In 1939, the RNZAF impressed five aircraft of the type from Cook Strait Airways and also operated a further nine repeats in a variety of roles. After the war, at least one Dragon Repeat saw service with Air Travel New Zealand Limited, while six were transferred to the National Airways Corporation, NAC, in 1946. The remaining aircraft continued in RNZAF service until 1953, when they too went on to become civilian passenger aircraft. Finally, the rare DH-90 Dragonfly, of which only 67 models were ever built. The Dragonfly looks very similar to the DH-89, and is essentially a smaller version of the Dragon Repeat, seating only four passengers, plus the pilot. One simple way to tell this aircraft apart from the DH-89 is that the Dragonfly has unequal span wings. In other words, the Dragonfly's lower wing is not as wide as its upper wing. The Repeat, on the other hand, has equal span wings. Join us on our full advert free streaming service at historicalmachines.tv, where you'll find lots more great footage just like this, all for less than the cost of a cup of coffee per month.